Today, the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists leaves the doomsday clock unchanged. It is 100 seconds to midnight. The symbolic doomsday clock developed by University of Chicago-based scientists warned the world is dangerously close to devastation. In 2020, the time was also 100 seconds to midnight, citing concerns over the spread of nuclear weapons and climate change. Now, the world faces the coronavirus pandemic, which has led to over 2 million deaths globally. President and CEO of the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, Rachel Bronson, said last year's statement anticipated failure to act quickly regarding COVID-19. The pandemic revealed just how unprepared and unwilling countries and the international system are to handle global emergencies properly. In this time of genuine crisis, governments around the world too often abdicated responsibility, ignored scientific advice, did not cooperate to communicate effectively, and consequently failed to protect the health and welfare of their citizens. While COVID-19 won't cause human extinction, Bronson added the pandemic serves as a wake-up call for handling international crises. COVID-19 will not obliterate civilization, and we expect the disease to recede eventually. Still, the pandemic serves as a historic wake-up call, a vivid illustration that national governments and the international organizations are unprepared to manage complex and dangerous challenges like those of nuclear weapons and climate change, which currently pose existential threats to humanity. But Bronson says there's hope to turn back the clock. She said with U.S. President Joe Biden in office, there could be measures taken to move the time farther away from midnight with his belief in climate change and plans to rejoin the World Health Organization and the Paris Agreement. The time on the clock currently is the closest to doomsday since the Cold War. Alexia Kapralos, Global News.